Today on Review This Thing, we're gonna review this thing, the Simple Modern Vacuum Insulated Water Bottle. Hey, this is Adrian with Review This Thing. Before we get into this bottle, do us a huge favor, click that subscribe button and the notification bell. If you have one of these bottles, comment below, ask as many questions as you want, and we'll get back to you as quick as we can. All that helps us out a ton, uh, and just make sure people get to see our videos. So I have a Hydro Flask, a Yeti, and the Simple Modern bottle. I've had this bottle about a year, so I feel like I can do a pretty good job comparing the three. Can this much cheaper version compare to the Hydro Flask and the fancier Yeti? As always, on Review This Thing, let's cover the facts. The first is fit. This bottle that I have is the 18 ounce Summit bottle. Size-wise, it's just shy of three inches in diameter. I think I measured like two and seven eighths. And then if you go all the way up to the top of that handle, it measures right at about nine inches. One thing with fit is it is not gonna fit in your Keurig, uh, but I don't really put that against the bottle makers. I put that more against Keurig because you'd think with the popularity of these things, they would make that space a little bit taller. And maybe they have one out now. If so, comment below and let us know. It's the perfect size for amount of coffee that I want. It also is, uh, diameter-wise, is enough to fit down in the cup holder in my car. The Simple Modern bottle is also pretty light. This one weighed right about 10.6 ounces, I believe. Now, if we're gonna compare the three brands that I have, you can see in this picture, they're all basically the same size, same height, basically same diameter. Weight-wise, it's a little different. The Simple Modern bottle, like I said, is 10.5 ounces, and the Hydro Flask was pretty close but the Yeti weighed, I believe it was like 19.5 ounces. So the Yeti was quite a bit heavier. So how are we gonna score fit for the Simple Modern vacuum insulated water bottle? Perfect size for me for my coffee in the morning. It's not a heavy bottle, so it's not a chore to carry around, like if you're you know, traveling through the airport. And it fits in my cup holders without any problem. Now, if this particular size doesn't fit your needs, they have several different sizes, so you can go on Amazon or on their website and check that out. But in terms of the 18 ounce Summit bottle, for me, we're gonna have to give this guy a five out of five for fit. Now is the Simple Modern Summit Tumbler as advertised. So with any of these vacuum insulated water bottles, the biggest thing they talk about is that it's gonna keep cold drinks cold and hot drinks hot for several hours. So I decided I was gonna do an experiment with the three that I have. One morning I made a pot of hot water in the coffee maker and put the same amount in each of the three bottles and then over the course of several hours checked the temperature. They all started out at about 178 degrees and then after about six and a half hours, the total temperature drop went down to about 117 degrees for the Simple Modern. Um, I measured my coffee one morning to see what temperature I drink it at and it was about 140 and it was able to stay in that range for about three, three and a half hours. So you can have a warm cup of coffee at the temperature you want to drink for after, even after about three and a half hours. And if we're going to compare the three brands after that time, they all stayed pretty close within one another, but the Simple Modern actually stayed the warmest by a degree or two. But when you're looking at comparing the three, pretty much they all produce about the same results. The second experiment I did was I put uh, the same amount of ice cubes and then filled it up with the same amount of water in all three bottles and then measured those throughout the day. After about 10 hours, the total temperature increase in the Simple Modern model was less than nine degrees. Definitely cool enough to be refreshing. And all three bottles, again, very close within just a degree or two. The Yeti actually did eke the Simple Modern out by like, I think it was like 0.7 or 0.8 degrees or something like that. So overall, again, the Simple Modern stands up to the test of being very comparable to the more expensive Hydro Flask and, and Yeti. The other thing these are advertised is that they are durable. So I've dropped this guy a couple times. There's some dings on the bottom, um, but the vacuum sealing is still working great. I've also not broken this lid. I've had a couple of Hydro Flasks and this lid is broken when I've dropped it. So I've had it about a year and no problems with any lack of durability in either the lid or in the bottle itself. So is the Simple Modern bottle as advertised? Well, our fancy experiment doesn't lie. The cold drink stayed cold and refreshing. The hot drink stayed hot for a, a few hours and at least warm for several more. And it's durable, hasn't broken. So far we've loved it, it's done great. Because of that, we're gonna have to give, is the Simple Modern bottle as advertised, a five out of five. Okay, now on to construction and durability. We've already talked about a lot of those things and I'm not gonna repeat it. So in this section, I'm just gonna talk about mainly the lids. 
There are several different lid options that you can get with these. Uh, this is the flip lid, which is the one that I definitely like the best for coffee because it kind of creates a, a nice little barrier to help it cool off a little instead of just, if it's too hot, burning your mouth. There's also this chug lid, which is really, really nice if you are having uh, cold drinks because it just unscrews just like a water bottle cap and flips off and it's still attached and it just tucks in that little space. And then you can just turn your bottle up and drink right out of that, just like drinking out of a water bottle. There's also a, just a lid that you just screw on that has a handle that you have to take the whole lid off to drink out of. I definitely like all of the lid options. One thing I didn't think I was gonna like, but I actually really do, is this handle. It is nice because if you're carrying a whole bunch of stuff, then you just need one finger. It's also really handy if you're like carrying a backpack you know, in the woods or through the airport and it's tucked in that little pouch, then it's a lot easier to just reach back and grab that handle than it is to try to get the whole bottle out. So our overall construction score, the weight, the durability, the size, the lids, the colors, all those things, we're gonna have to give construction and durability a five out of five. Now on to testimonials and reviews. Overall, the score from Amazon was 4.7 with a vast majority, I believe 85% of those being fives. The, as always, we want to tell you the negatives, the ones and the twos. The, the few things, there were several that said that their bottle leaked, the lid leaked, and then several that said the bottle was sweating, which is pretty good indicator that the insulating factor isn't working anymore. Thankfully, I've had this for a year and not had any problems with leaking or with the bottle sweating. Several other people complained that the ice melted in their, in their bottle. I will say when I did my cold water test that the ice did melt. One thing to definitely keep in mind when you're thinking about adding a liquid to ice is that if the liquid is not colder than the ice, which it's not or it'd be frozen, then the ice will have to melt some to cool up the liquid that you poured in there. So if you're not pouring in a super, super cold beverage, then the ice is gonna melt because it has to do its thing to cool off the beverage. But as I mentioned before, the Simple Modern bottle kept the water just as cold as the Yeti and the Hydro Flask. But the score we have to give for testimonials and reviews is the score we found. So because of that, we're gonna give it a 4.7 out of five. Okay, while you're here, should you buy this thing? It really depends, as always, on what you're looking for and what you need. I can only assume if you're watching this review, you're looking for something that's gonna keep cold stuff cold and warm stuff warm. These bottles definitely do that, at least for a few hours. Let's talk about price for just a minute. So on Amazon, the bottle with just one lid is $15.99 for the 18 ounce. And on REI, the 18 ounce Yeti version is right at $30, and then with Hydro Flask, they have a 16 ounce, which, which is I think 33, and then a 20 ounce, which is 35. So almost the Simple Modern bottle is half price of the Yeti and the Hydro Flask. So when it comes to pricing, the Simple Modern bottles are definitely the clear winner. But should you buy this thing, the main question you have to ask yourself is, what do you want? Do you want a insulated bottle that's gonna keep stuff warm, keep stuff cold, or do you wanna have a Yeti so you can show people you have a Yeti or have a Hydro Flask so you can say you have a Hydro Flask? If that's what you're going for, go ahead and get the Yeti, go ahead and get the Hydro Flask. But if you're just looking for a bottle that does the job and does it well, I'd save my money and go ahead and get the Simple Modern bottle. Because almost you could buy two of these for the price of one Yeti. Because of that, should you buy the Simple Modern vacuum insulated water bottle? Absolutely, 100%, five out of five. Hey, thanks so much for watching our video. If you have one of these simple modern bottles, comment below. Also, while you're here, go ahead, watch some more videos, subscribe to our channel, share this video, take a minute and like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram.